You're watching Film Courage, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Hello everyone, Karen Warden with Film Courage, the radio show. I'm here with the wonderful Peter Rollis of Movie Buzz. Hello. <laughs> he has been our most listened to show of all of our 64 episodes. So tell us about Movie Buzz. What is it? Um, I started about two and a half years ago. Um, I, and back in high school, I did a, an article called Movie Buzz, and when I got out into New York for film school, I decided to start broadcasting myself on YouTube to notice a lot of different people were kind of doing that as well. I really wanted to get involved with um, kind of the community, and I really wanted to improve my craft. And after the years I've done it, I really wanted to get a move from wanting to become a filmmaker to now hosting. So I'm just trying to improve my craft in that sense of trying to become a better host. And I actually want to become a legitimate movie critic, so this is definitely a great you know, launching platform for me to do that. <laughs> So your YouTube channel is Movie Buzz. Yes, okay. uh, youtubecom slash MovieBuzz. Uh, I just Andy Mogul got that for me, so now that that now links to my site, so that helps a lot. As opposed to saying Rawless P, I can now say youtubecom slash MovieBuzz, and, and it directs it back to me. So it's good because before I tried to get that, I tried to get that username, but someone had it, but no one used it for like years. And then eventually we, we were able to like get it, pick it up. So it helps a lot to, to be able to say that. It's easier, it's easier for people to find me that way that I have Movie Buzz as part of my URL now. Okay. So now you've come out from the East Coast to VidCon yes. 2010, and uh, what brought you out here? Um, well, what really was great was last year's gathering in, uh, in New York, uh, 79, was kind of my first really big YouTube experience, and then I heard that this was going on, especially this is way more organized this year, because we have an actual hotel and conference rooms, and it's easier for other people to come out, but this has been really great. I've, been, I've met a lot of new people who weren't, be able to go, weren't able to go to the New York one, uh, but this has been this incredible experience. I mean, I meet a lot of new people, I made a lot of new connections, and a lot of my friends and YouTubers who live in California now, uh, I'm meeting connections with them, so now they want to do stuff with me when I come down here in the fall. So it's going to be great. <laughs> and I went on the um, computer this morning and I saw that you posted, I think, something last night. Yeah, yeah, I still, I still didn't show you though I'm here. <laughs> yeah, and, and you had over 5,000 views as of this morning. Like, oh. 10 a.m. California time. Yeah. So, tell us the hits to your channel. Does that matter to you? What? How does that translate into buzz for you? Um, well, I'm never. I'm not complaining about you know the views that I get. Uh, I mean, it's nice to see, but I mostly focus on every episode. I'm trying to make it better than the last one. I'm always trying to improve my craft in one way or the other. Uh, but it's, it's mostly about practice for me. The fact that people like it, that's great. It helps me out too because I get feedback. But I mostly do it just to just better myself. And the more times I do it, the better my episodes have gone. Like looking back to one of my first episodes, which were not the best, but uh, to see the progression of the stuff that I've done and my consistency with it, it's, it's always it's, it's mostly for me to build my uh, my status as more than like trying to get the number one most subscribe. And, and the viewers is good too, and it gives me more exposure too. And, and, and because of that, I've had a lot more new opportunities and met new, great, fantastic people. I got to do film courage, so that was great. Um, <laughs> it's fun to Google myself now and see that my film courage shop pops up all the time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. I mostly do it just because I want to become better at what I'm doing. It's not it's not more of a competition for me. It's more of I love doing it, and I would still do it even if like no one was watching. So. And lastly, have you gained any insights from uh, some of the panels that have gone on this weekend? Uh, well, most of the panels now is mostly talking about uh, kind of people's experiences. You know, it's interesting to see how everyone kind of came to be, either maybe musicians or vloggers or Michael Buckley's thing when he was doing. Uh, it's almost, it's more of like little inspiring stories of everyone's things. You kind of see like, oh, like their success kind of inspires me and everyone else to kind of go off and do their own thing. Uh, and those guys work hard. They work really, really hard. So kind of to want to live up to that level of like all the stuff they're doing now is great. But, uh, but and for for like the new YouTubers who are kind of coming up now, it's really great for them to learn about kind of the stuff that we're doing now. Because now I'm just asked where kind of know the ins and outs of YouTube. And for the new new YouTubers who are here this year, it's really great for them to uh, kind of pick up on those little tips and tricks for their channels as well. So it's been a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs>